Luther Olson, one of the Republican senators facing recall, said when he was told that they were going to run a stealth opponent in the Democratic primary to delay this, that he said he had no idea that that was the strategy of the state party. If that's true, it means that you've got the state party making decisions that affect these candidates that these candidates aren't aware of. Now today, the Senate Republican leader, Scott Fitzgerald, endorsed the idea. Let me quote from the story online, Patrick Marley, Sentinel Journal. Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald fully endorsed the idea Tuesday of fielding fake Democrats in recall elections against Republicans in an effort to delay the general elections. Fitzgerald said he was not worried running fake Democrats would engender cynicism among voters. Is it sleazy? And is it effective? In other words, is it dirty, pool, and unethical, or is it fair game? That's the one criteria. And secondly, will it work? Is it a good idea? This is obnoxious and stupid. It may backfire. And it's an obnoxious and cynical attempt to confuse the very voters that you're asking to vote for your candidates. It is confusing to the public. To mess around with the primary election process and run as a Democrat somebody who isn't a Democrat. It was confusing and obnoxious when in Manitowoc they tried to do that to Representative Ziegelbauer. It's legal, but it's obnoxious. And it invites the other side to do the same thing. What's now not to stop... Let's take Senator Darling's district as an example. The Democrats are putting a Democrat up to run in the Republican primary against Senator Darling. Now she's got to run two campaigns anyway. Democrats ought to run in Democratic primaries and Republicans ought to run in Republican primaries. Here's the other thing, the stupidity factor. You're just going to hack people off with this. I am so tired of Republican stupidity. The Democrats are going to have a field day with this. Already the media is pounding on them. And after doing it, the best we get from Scott Fitzgerald over there, I think it's a good idea. You think it's a good idea? How come nobody's ever done it before? This is this classic inferiority complex. They fear that if they hold the recalls right now, they'll lose. Why do they fear that? I'm on record saying I don't think they're going to lose more than two seats at the most. You want to lose more of them? Let the public think you're playing games. The whole reason that we called for photo ID for voting is to establish integrity in the election process. It's an issue on which the Republicans have the high ground. No, they take the low ground. I ripped the Democrats, when they ran a fake Republican against Representative Ziegelbauer. So I'm not going to be a phony here and say that I think that this isn't obnoxious when the Republicans do it. It is obnoxious and it isn't going to work. It's bad enough that you're going to have to tell the public that they got to keep showing up and voting all summer. There's going to be enough confusion as to which election is held on what day. Now we're going to muddy the waters even more? This needs to be rethought. And I would encourage Governor Walker to weigh in and criticize the idea. Like it or not, the recall process is part of the pro- part of a part. <laughs> if the public is so appalled that Governor Walker and the Republicans are balancing the budget without cutting services by saying public employees finally have to kick in a teeny amount for their pensions, they've got a right to throw them out of office and take us right back to the tax hell that we've been all along. They have every right to disempower government with Governor Walker. They have that right. The Republicans ought to welcome the opportunity to take this case to the public. And running around and running fake candidates and all of this stuff, it's all just childish stuff. It's the kind of stuff people don't like. I presume the Democrats will now do the same thing in the Kenosha area where Bob Joke is the Democrat facing a recall. 
How about maybe running your own candidate, running that candidate on the issues, take the case to the public in the state of Wisconsin in your districts and trying to prevail? Stop being so stupid. Stop being fraidy cats. This is the this idea is coming from some political geeks sitting there in Washington orchestrating some sort of master plan. It's a load of bull. I've carried water for the Republicans for the last six months in this state amidst a whole lot of antics from the other side that's been childish and irresponsible and stupid. I've carried the water because I felt the other side was being childish and irresponsible and stupid. And the Republicans are on the right side of a correct and historic era here in Wisconsin. But I'm not going to defend this. I'm not going to mock and ridicule the Democrats for playing games with the political process in Wisconsin. And acting like little children with their behavior in Madison when the Republicans are now deciding to take the most sacred part of democracy that we have, elections, and play games with them themselves. They need to drop this. And I would hope that the Republican candidates in these districts disavow it, and I wouldn't mind seeing Governor Walker coming down and saying he thinks it's a bad idea. It's a sad state of affairs. When the Democrats have spent the last six months embarrassing themselves, and now the Republicans try to one-up them. This is not only an obnoxious tactic, I don't think it's going to work. It's going to confuse people as to when the election is. They're not going to know who they're supposed to be voting for and when. Well, what do you mean that this isn't a real Republican and a real Democrat? Well, why muddy the water? (laughs) I sound like a nut. What did I sound like just listening to that? Did I sound like a nut? I did sound like a nut. Troy and McQuaggo here on News Talk 1130 WISN. Mark, you're absolutely right. This is, this is as bad of an idea as they could possibly have come up with. They will never get away with it because Republicans are held to a higher standard. That's correct. Regardless of whether it's correct or not, this is the type of thing that we expect from Democrats. And all it's doing is allowing Democrats to get the high moral ground. High moral ground ground when they haven't had the high moral ground. They've had the low moral ground with their behavior over the last six months. Now in every one of these races, you're going to see them draw attention. Dirty tricks, dirty tricks, dirty tricks, confusing the voters. The public doesn't like being bleeped with. You're trying to mix up a voter. They don't like that. It's they, just they, it's just a classic example of a dork political strategist ki- trying to come up with a creative idea, and it's this classic Republican inferiority complex. So the elections are going to be in July. So the re- so the Republican senators are going to have to come home a lot of nights and campaign and go back to Madison and work. And so the timetable is is based on on helping the Democrats. That does not become a reason to mess with the political process in Wisconsin and to mess with the heads of the voters. It's so stupid, and it's exactly the kind of thing that I've been seeing from Republican strategists forever and ever and ever, this absolute idiocy, and for, and for Fitzgerald to be endorsing it, for, I haven't heard anything from Governor Walker yet, and I am hoping, as the smartest Republican politician in the state, he disavows this and disassociates himself from it, because it's not only stupid, it's an obnoxious tactic. Well, well the Democrats can get away with it. You know, if the Democrats did it, I'd be ripping them, and I think I'd be scoring points against them. Yeah, they can't even run the thing on the up and up. It's bad enough that, they've, you know, that they're trying to obstruct everything that this government is trying to do. Now they have these recall things, and they're running phony candidates. I'd rip them with a passion. So I'm not going to turn around and pay, give the Republicans a pass for doing something that I ripped the Democrats for if they did it. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. They need to be ripped. And Walker they ought to, to be ripped so that they stop this stupidity before it goes any farther than absolutely. it has. And Walker needs to walk in and grab them by the collar and say, knock it off. I mean, the idea of running a Republican as a Democrat, just on its face, you're essentially saying you're trying to con people and screw up the process. When, exactly. is, that, is that what the Republican Party now wants to be perceived as being all about? They need to grow up and they need to get some smarts here because the other side is playing very, very dirty. And the response can't be to go and play dirty because if both sides play dirty, you know which one's going to get the blame. The Republicans are going to get the Absolutely. blame because for exactly the reason you mentioned. They are held to a higher standard. Now, if the Democrats were doing this, I know Dan Bice wouldn't have had two stories in a row on page one. I understand that. But he did have two stories in a row on page one. Those headlines are going to be in ads in every one of these recall districts. It's going to backfire. It's already backfiring. They're being laughed at. 
Why are you giving me? Thanks for the call. I got a break.